Good evening everybody, hello. Um, so today we went food shopping and I just want to share with you guys a little bit of the different foods and things that we buy, what we stock our refrigerator with so you guys can get a better idea of what we use to make our meals and snacks. So one of the first things I want to talk to you about is, a, is the baby spinach. They come, these boxes are from BJ's, this box specifically is from BJ's, but they also have them in Costco or in the local, local supermarkets in a smaller size. And uh, they come in different varieties. They have baby spinach, baby lettuce, they have uh, dark greens, spring mix, whatever your favorite is. But I particularly like this one, the baby spinach. If I buy it from my local supermarket, then I get this one, the fresh attitude variety. And I prefer this over the, the bagged one, although it's pretty much the same. Then we have also kale which is a great super green as well and um i already opened the package because i just made some kale chips for my son but this is packed with calcium vitamin a vitamin c vitamin k and you can have it raw in a salad it tastes good with for example red onion and uh vinegar and strawberries or mango i've made a mango salad with this so it's great or you can put it into your smoothies if you want for a green juice also we buy uh romaine lettuce that's the lettuce variety that we prefer. Uh, for greens, we also have here the English cucumbers. Uh, once in a while, I'll buy the ones with the darker skin, the regular ones, but I prefer this ones more. I prefer these better. And uh, they come in a three pack. If you buy them from Costco, if you buy, uh, from Costco, yes, in BJ's, it comes in a two pack. And in the supermarket, usually they're sold individually. Then in terms of fruits, uh, we have the ones that we purchase the ones that have the least amount of sugar so in this case which would be blueberries any type of berries so blueberries blackberries strawberries like you guys see there i have grapes in the back but it's not um you know something that i usually have we mostly stick to the berries and this is great because my husband uses it in his smoothies if we do like a chia pudding with the chia seeds and the herbalife pdm then we add fresh fruit onto it or to the pancakes if you want to do it or muffins then we have also yogurts for the yogurt lovers this particular variety the oikos the black label the triple zero one is one of the best ones that we have found because it only has 120 calories in the cup in terms of saturated fat you see that it has zero it only has six grams of sugar which is great it has six grams of fiber which is fantastic and 15 grams of protein which is awesome because it helps to control your hunger and it's a great snack option so i'll usually have either one of my green detox juices or uh, one of these yogurts as a snack then in milk we buy three different varieties the soy milk they have two different kinds um, this one, the green one, is the organic soy milk, is the one that they have available in Costco. In Costco, they don't have the unflavored variety. So this is what we get when we go to Costco. If we go to PJ's, they do have either the vanilla flavor, which is a blue carton, or they have this one, which is the unflavored one, the soy, the silk soy. Um, so this is what we buy. And we use this, my husband mostly uses this for his um, pre-workout smoothies. He mixes it together with the Herbalife protein, with um, banana or the berries, like I showed you guys earlier. And this is what he uses. Or I mix this with the kids' um, sports shake as well. In terms of like regular milk, uh, we in, instead of buying like regular cow mix, since my kids are a little bit lactose intolerant, we buy the lactate variety. And these come in different uh, colors here. This purple one is fat free, so that means it has no um, fat whatsoever. Let me just turn it around so you guys can see. It has no fat, no saturated fat, and eight grams of protein, 12 grams of sugar, which is normally what all milk varieties have the blue label one is the two percent milk see so this one does have a little bit more saturated fat it has three grams which is a little on the higher side but it's not as bad as the one with the red uh lid the one with the red lid is the whole milk and that one has 25 percent saturated fat of daily value so we don't buy that one that's the one that they have in um in bj's or costco they always have the red one this blue two percent one and uh, in BJ's they have the purple one. So we stick to the blue and, and this one. In the supermarket, I've seen that the 1% one has a light blue label. So that's also a great option because it's in between the 2% and the fat free. Here, we also have cilantro. I always buy cilantro and I put it in this uh, thing to preserve it. We always have eggs on hand. We buy both the brown variety, the organic ones, and the regular white ones because we mix them when we make like an omelet or we're cooking like a soup or whatever we'll have i'll add one or two whole eggs or even when i'm making the pancakes or the muffins i'll add one or two whole eggs 
and the rest I'll add in egg white. So I'll throw out like the yolk from these and I'll just use the egg white. This zucchini squash is one of my favorite vegetables. Um, it tastes great raw, like in a salad with garbanzo and cilantro and tomato. Or you can make it like what I made today. I made zucchini chips. I put it in the oven and I made zucchini chips. And um, it's fabulous. I also put it into the soups. So it's a great way to add in some extra veggies to the soups. And you can do a lot of stuff with it. Today I also bought some butternut squash. This is a little bit on the higher side in terms of carbohydrates, but it's also really good. It's packed with vitamin A. It only has 40 calories, see? So it has a little bit more carbohydrates than others, but it's also not like a big deal. So you can add this, um, you can do a lot of things with it. Um, I, I personally like to use it in my soups or when I make beans. In terms of like different spices, sauces, different things that we might use for like sandwiches and stuff. This is the peanut butter that I like to buy, the Skippy's reduced fat peanut butter because the saturated fat on this one is considerably less than the regular variety or other brands. So this is the um, one that we prefer. If you like jelly, this is a great option too. This is the sugar-free polliner strawberry preserve. It comes in a variety of flavors, but it has 80% less calories than regular jelly. And um, you know, like you see there, it has zero sugar, has a little bit of carbohydrate, but it has fiber as well. So this is a great variety if you want to do like peanut butter and jelly. For when we buy, when we use mayo for a, dip, for a sandwich or for like a, a pasta salad or whatever, we have this one, the Smart Balance Mayo. So it has a lot less fat than the regular mayo. If you see here, regular mayo has 10 grams of fat, while this one only has five. And, uh, this, and that is like healthy fat, it's not saturated fat, which is even better. The saturated fat is the one that tends to clog our um, circulatory system. So this is the mayo that we use. And it doesn't taste bad, you know, it doesn't have like a funny taste because it's not regular mayo. It tastes really good. For whipped cream lovers, I have found this variety, the whipped original. It's only 50 calories in two tablespoons. The fat content in this is three grams, um, so it's not that bad. It's pretty much kind of like the 2% milk that I showed you. But if you compare this to the regular one, it's definitely the regular one has a lot more saturated fat. Uh, so I prefer this variety. I found it, and ever since I tried it, this has been my favorite one. Drawer, we are loaded with lemons or limes and uh, green apples because this is what I use for my green juice. As you guys have seen in the other videos that I've posted about my green juice recipe, I do the spinach, I do green apple, I do the limes, I do celery, which I also did by yesterday. So all of that stuff, I always make sure to be stocked up on. And of course, the cucumbers. I have grapefruit, we have a kiwi, orange. So we try to stock up on as many healthy options as possible. I have this in the freezer, but I just wanted to bring it up since I want to be talking about the different protein options up here. This is tofu, so this is made out of soy. It's uh, great for people who don't really want to do you know, animal meat. They have this option. It comes in different textures, but I like the extra firm one uh, because it stays you know like the, the texture is different it's not like like ugh, it's not watery or anything like that so you just what I do is that I pat it with um, a bounty or something to kind of take off the excess water that it comes like in water and then I'll put it in a pan with um, garlic powder with salt with pepper and a little bit of olive oil and that's it you know and I cook it and my son loves it then here we have this is the best salmon that we have tried. This one is from BJ's. It's wild caught sockeye salmon. So a lot of the salmon that's sold, in, especially in the pans, in the in the blue like dishes, that's farm salmon. So it's raised a little bit differently uh, than the wild salmon. Of course, this one's a much better. It has a much better variety. It has, like it says, chemical free, is all natural. The omega-3 and the different things that are on it is a lot better. Um, I also like it because this one already comes pre-cut and frozen. So you know exactly how much protein, this one says 24 grams, so you know exactly how much protein and calories you're getting per um, serving of what you're eating. So this is one of the type of fish that we buy. Another one that we purchased is the tuna steaks. This one also comes like measured out in cut. So you know that in a steak, a tuna steak, you're getting between 25 to 30 grams of protein depending on the size. So it helps to keep your protein intake track a lot better. Also, we have this 
chicken breast that this one we actually purchased from Costco. The, the fish that you saw we purchased from BJ's, but this one is from Costco. And it comes already um, like pre-frozen and cut. And like I said there, it's ready in 15 minutes. So all you have to do is literally take it out, thaw it for a few minutes, or simply throw it into the pan and it'll cook in 15 to 20 minutes. And it's nice and juicy and soft. This is uh, broccoli that we buy. This one's from BJ's. Um, we've bought in the Costco broccoli too, but this is the one that we prefer the most. And uh, I like it because it's not soggy. You can just um, put this in some boiling water for about a minute or two, and uh, that's it. Or you can throw it into your soups. You can um, make a lot of different stuff with it, you know, depending on what you want to mix it with. But we always make sure to have broccoli in the house. We also get like peas and carrots. You can buy this frozen or fresh, however it is that you prefer. Um, we have these little mini pancakes for once in a while when I don't make the protein ones I have this one as an option for the boys and they'll have they'll share a pack so I won't give them a pack each and inside it brings like eight or nine mini pancakes so they'll have about four each and uh, so it's good so whatever is saying here on the nutrition fact they're only getting half of that so even though it does have a lot of carbohydrates and a considerable amount of sugar since they only have a pack each it's really not that bad and then I don't have the box for this because I already threw it out. But these are the um, veggie sausages from Morningstar, the veggie breakfast sausage. It tastes really good. You cannot taste that it's not made out of meat. It actually tastes just like if it was a regular sausage. But it's definitely a lot healthier. So this is what I give to them. I'll mix like on the weekends when they uh, not don't want like their shake and they want a different like a regular breakfast. Then I'll give them this with uh, the four mini pancakes and I'll make um, an egg omelet. To wrap up what we got in our food shopping round today, we also did get bananas. This is one of my smallest son favorite fruits. He really, really loves bananas and my husband puts this into his pre-workout shakes as well. We bought pineapple. This is a great way to um, hydrate and to help detox the body, right? Because the pineapple um, helps to like, it's like a diuretic, so it helps to take out extra liquids from the body. And um, this is a new bread that I'm buying. Usually we buy this one, I'm gonna show you guys. This is the one that we normally buy, the 15 grain one, but we wanted to try a different variety. So I got this one, it's called Eureka. It's only 140 calories per slice, which is cool. It's only four grams of sugar. Let me turn it over so you guys can see. Only four grams of sugar, three grams of carbohydrates, and seven grams of protein. So even though, though it does have um, a pretty high amount of carbohydrate. It is mostly fiber and protein and everything else. Like it's just the natural carb. Uh, so it's good, you know, uh, like it says here, it's organic, it's made out of wheat, it's non-GMO. So it's, there's a lot of healthy options out there. You really just have to look for it. And when you're looking at the labels, always look at these numbers. Now they have changed the labels and the way that it's shown on the food. So it makes it a little bit easier to read it but you always want to check the calories you always want to check the serving size to make sure how many calories what is showing here how much of that is in a serving because sometimes we take we don't notice the servings and we'll have two or three servings of something so we think we're having this amount but if we're having for example two slices of bread then this number would be doubled it wouldn't be 140 it would be 280 and all of these other numbers would be doubled as well so that we do have to take in consideration the serving size the calories the saturated fat, you always want that to be as low as possible. The carbohydrates, that could be, depends, you know, some things could be a little bit high on carbohydrates, but here you'll see the fiber and the sugars are in are not in bold because these are types of carbohydrates. So something can be a little bit higher in carbohydrates, but can have fiber. So you, what you want to see and you want to make sure is that the carbohydrates and the sugars um, like especially the sugars that are not over like 10 or 15 because for every four grams of sugar is equal to one tablespoon of, of sugar so just take into consideration that and of course the protein when something has a high amount of protein per serving that means it's going to keep you fuller for longer so if you guys want more information you need more help in terms of reading the labels or um, if you would like a shopping list like that is a service that we provide free to our customers so you can check out send us an email or um, contact us and we'd be happy to help you know help you with your your shopping your healthy shopping